All right, now to get through my drawing, I'm just gonna throw you, show you some of the beginning processes. I'm not gonna draw every single bit of this monolithic slab. Um, um, you know, a lot of it you can pretty much do on your own without um, me showing you. But what I wanna do is I wanna find a good place to start um, somewhere toward the bottom left here, because I know my picture, you know, my drawing is gonna go that way. Now I wanna make sure I have plenty of room over here on the left side. Um, and make sure I got some room over here on the right as well. Now, of course, I don't have my border on this one because I'm just showing you how to draw uh, the actual, um, the actual foundation, okay? <clears throat> so I start uh, down here at the bottom with the bottom line. Um, I wanna go ahead and set this. Now, this is one inch and a half scale, just like we did the last one. And I'm going to draw this at 10 inches. Okay, so that's supposed to be 10 inches. So zero here, uh, nine, 10, right there. Okay, so I know that's where my 10 inch mark is gonna be, right where I just put that little, that little dot right there. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my elevation, or not my, my verticals. Starting about right here, and of course I'm using light lines to begin with because I'm going to erase some of this. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Uh, that's the left end. Now what I want to do is my slab is going to be 18 inches, or my with my um, thickened edge. With this over here is going to be the thickened edge, and then the slab will go this way. It's all going to be one piece though. So I put my inch and a half scale down here. I want to measure 18 inches. From here to here is one foot. All right, so 12 plus six is 18. So I set this on the six inch mark. And then there's my 12 inch mark, so 12, six, 18. I'm gonna mark right there. And draw a line across this way. All right, I know my slab should be six inches. So I'm gonna measure six inches right here setting it at six inches and then making my mark at zero. Draw that way. Okay, now I know this up here has to be 14 inches for that angle that goes up between here. So again, I'm gonna use the one foot mark right here. That's one foot for this scale, one foot. And that's 12, so we got 13 and 14 inches right here. So now I just connect those two dots to get my uh, that angle that I want for that thickened edge on my slab. And I think I drew that, did I draw that the right length? It's 18 inches, yes. That's 18, okay. Looked like I'd drawn it a little small there. <clears throat> now I'm gonna put something over here, it's called a brick ledge. I also need to label that on my final copy for you guys. Um, but my brick ledge is basically it's a ledge that my bricks are going to sit on and typically it is a little bit larger than the bricks themselves um, so i am going to i'm using a three inch brick so i'm going to draw this way four inches i'm going to place a mark at four inches okay my bricks are typically about three inches tall so i'm going to get that first or actually i don't have to get the whole brick i'm just um uh, I am going to draw this three inches though. So three inches right there. I think that's what I did on the original. Yes, I did. I did three inches on the original. All right, so basically I'm going to make a little notch right here, there, and then there. Okay, so there's a notch, and just so I don't get confused, I'll go ahead and erase some of that right there. So that's called a brick ledge, all right? Brick ledge, just like that. <clears throat> uh, now I can, so I've already got the outside of my brick ledge, or my bricks. Now I'm going to measure in, I'm going to leave a gap a one inch gap. So I'm going to measure in three inches. All right. 
and there's my gap. The gap is going to be between my blocks, my bricks, and my wall material. Okay, it's going to be an air gap so that uh, air can circulate and help uh, manage the uh, condensation inside the wall. All right, so I draw that. Let me erase that real quick. I don't need it anymore. All right, and now, of course, I'm going to draw my wall materials. You remember, you've got the um, substrate or that three-quarter inch plywood sheathing, which is on there first. Okay, so I'm going to measure that out to three-quarters of an inch. Okay, and actually, I forgot my bottom seal here, which I'll fix that in a minute. And then, of course, I have my wall structure, um, the interior part of my wall structure, which is made of 2x4 lumber. And we know that the 4-inch uh, side of a 2x4 piece of wood actually measures 3 and 1 half inches. So 3 and a half an inch. Okay, I'm going to draw that all the way down here. And then that um, actually gives me, I actually didn't have to erase that, it also gives me my space for my um, <clears throat> sole plate or my seal plate, whatever you want to call it. And this is going to be an inch and a half for my seal plate. It's a piece of two by four laying on its side. Um, so it's going to be one inch and a half. Okay, and I'll go ahead and X that out so I'll know that I'm looking at cut lumber. All right, so there's my cut lumber. <clears throat> what else do I need here? I need my J-bolt, okay? J-bolt kind of comes through here. It needs to be kind of, uh, on my original drawing, I didn't do a good of a job showing that it was a hidden line. Uh, these are what's called hidden lines, when you really aren't supposed to see something because other things are in its way, but you want to show that it is actually there, okay? So I'm gonna start my bolt right there. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna draw dashes. Okay, so I'm going to draw dash lines to make this, okay, and I want this to come down a good 15 inches into the concrete. Okay, so into the concrete, there's 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's where I want it to end up. Okay, and I might start curving it about right here somewhere. Okay, and then that gets, it's not exactly 15 inches, but it's close enough. So that's my J-bolt. And then I'm going to go over here, I'm going to do the same thing to give it some thickness. Okay, and with my other one, I tried to give it some threads, but you don't have to do that. Okay, I just kind of messed my threads up a little bit. Okay, and draw the little head come out there and there's also a nut on that and you can just kind of freehand nut just kind of shade it in they know what this is okay so there's my j bolt the j bolt holds the wall to the concrete foundation all right <clears throat> now for as far as drawing the structure that is it um i did add some bricks here you said I said I had three inch bricks I kind of stylized mine a little bit you don't have to okay actually don't waste time stylizing it just every three inches so there's three and so I'm counting backwards okay so like that just go every three inches up and then you know draw your horizontal lines across to make your your blocks and that one right there wasn't measured properly okay <clears throat> but you get the gist just every three inches put a notch and then draw a horizontal line across and that 
um, you know, tells, tells us that you've got bricks and you'll also want to um, shade those or hatch those just like you do the concrete. You know, I didn't do these yet, but you know, I'll put some of those odd shaped triangles which represent aggregate, you know, or rocks, little, little bitty rocks that are mixed in with the material. You know, then some straight lines like so. And then some dots, okay? And you'll wanna kinda cover that up pretty good, okay? Uh, same with the foundation here, triangles, lines, dots. Um, I think that's everything. Okay, just remember you're hatching here on the plywood, that X type hatching. Here on the drywall, I just did a, just shaded it's all I really did. Airspace, you don't have to do anything to, just indicate that it's airspace. Um, do put a measurement, I did not put a measurement on this one, but do put a measurement for that one half inch airspace. As a matter of fact, I'll go back and I'll show you the finished copy. Um, I'll, I'll upload a, a picture of a finished copy with all the measurements and everything on it so you can see that. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else? Make sure you align your text this way. Now, I, I need to go back and redo my J-bolt and line it up right here. Actually, I just kind of wrote that in there. Uh, same here, everything's vertically aligned. You know, of course, I couldn't line this up all the way over here or I would have been writing inside of the slab. So I came out a little bit and actually lined it up with this one line going straight up through there. Okay, so to get these uh, paragraphs down here, these notes and what have you. All right, well, that is how you draw. Those are some techniques you use to draw the foundation.